I wanted to play a game of baseball at the top of a mountain. Unfortunately, I couldn't locate my catcher's sum mitt. Happy Thursday, my friends. Welcome to the stream. There was a train rolling by. There was a train rolling by. I was kind of I was kind of waiting to see if it was going to get louder or if it was going to quiet down. So uh, let me welcome everyone in. Fufu Love Chess is first in chat tonight. Welcome in, Fufu. Glad to have you here with us again. Hope you are doing well. And welcome in, Dead Zergling. Happy Thursday to you, my friend. Fufu says, bought two used metal detectors. Have three total. My, uh... My dad had a metal detector when I was a kid. I remember him using it a few times. I don't recall ever finding anything particularly interesting, but uh, they are very neat devices. I don't really know anything about them, though. I, uh, I know very, very little. Mostly just some a few vague memories of uh, a few times when my dad used one, and, uh, you know, seeing them like... I don't know, on TV or something. Uh, Lose 10 Ricky, welcome in, and Lucent Jelly, thank you both for being here. Hope you're having a, hope you're having a great evening, my friends. And I think that's everybody we've got so far. We're going to play Tears of the Kingdom tonight, my friends. <laughs> another, uh, another big uh, stretch of the newest Zelda game. Go ahead and start getting the game up and my head out of the way. That's a good size. Hey, Itarama. Welcome in, Itty. Happy Thursday to you. Yahaha, ha, ha, indeed. <laughs> hopefully we will find... Hopefully we will find lots and lots of... Uh, lots and lots of Koroks. Fuchsia says, getting better. My leg is recovering. Need to be more flexible. With my, with my foot, still not that great. Slow and steady wins the race. Well, I, I'm glad to hear that you're, uh, that you're recovering, that you're moving in the correct direction. I hope you continue to, uh, I hope you continue to make positive progress. All right, so we're going to jump back in. First thing to do tonight is to travel up through this tower so we can upgrade our map. I'd like to head over there to that glowing spot. I'd also like to check out this uh, geoglyph. Looks like the blood moon is on the rise. And it looks like we've got a shrine over here, too. So there's a lot of things. I don't know what I pinned there. Oh, that's not my pin, is it? No, no, no. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, there's another shrine over there. Oh, no, that's the one I was just looking at. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters and then we will do more, uh, you know, probably a lot more kind of just semi aimless wandering. Um, I'd like to light up a little bit more of the depths tonight, 
I'd like to head to that other tower over there and generally explore the southeastern part of the map. I think holds the uh, stuff of, must, of most interest for me currently. But uh, we'll see. I always get distracted and never really end up doing anything I plan to do. <laughs> Hey, Sir Rack of Lamb, thank you for jo joining us. Good to have you with us, my friend. I hope uh, things are going great for you tonight. For those who were here last night, or just may be generally interested, if you didn't see, if you didn't make it to the end of last night's stream, I have to, I have to kind of quasi brag just a little bit I beat zombies ate my neighbors last night I can't believe I can't believe we beat that game I thought it would never happen it was stunning and I think I, I haven't reviewed I haven't reviewed the footage but, like, I think it was the most, like, barely scraped by victory that could have possibly happened as well. <laughs> because we were on the last stage, and I didn't, I didn't even know it was the last stage. Like, I was feeling, I was starting to feel anxiety because I was further than I'd ever been before in the game. But I didn't know how many stages there were. And I thought, I was thinking there were probably about 55, but... Because I know some of the stages are bonus stages, I was I was thinking like, well, it could end at any time, and I'm just not gonna say anything, <laughs> and I'm just gonna hope I keep moving along. But I only had one, I only had one neighbor left, so every stage was in peril. And then right before, I think right before the last stage, I unlocked a bonus neighbor, so I had two on the last stage, and I knew where one of them was. And then I went into another part of the stage, and that giant spider that we fought earlier in the game was there again. The last stage is another giant spider stage. And I was like, oh no, and I was going to fight that spider. But while I was getting ready to fight the spider, um, I heard the sound of one of the neighbors dying. And like I know that there was a door behind the spider that would only open if you defeat the spider um it, it was a it was a there's a boss door there and i was like well probably the probably the one behind that door is safe because i've never i've never seen one of the neighbors that i can recall i've never seen one of the neighbors actually get killed while they are behind a locked door like not like a regular key door but by behind like a big like boss key type door i've never seen that happen but i was like well just in case maybe i'll back out of here and i'll go see about the other neighbor that i know where they are and just make sure like are they dead or alive the one that we'd already seen that i couldn't get to and when i went back i saw that one was still alive and so and I now had a key, like a big key, to get to it. And so I ran to it, and I and I collected that 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 neighbor, and the door appeared, and I got out of there. And then that was the end of the game. Just suddenly, it just goes to a screen that says "Winner" real big across the top. But it was like I didn't even fight that big spider on the last level. So the the victory was. I didn't know I was on the last stage, and I didn't know what was going on. It was very weird. It was very weird. Maybe none of that makes any sense. That might be a terrible retelling, but... <laughs> but I just... I haven't fully processed the event, so I had to share. I had to share. Uh, let me, uh... Let me catch up. Let me catch up. I didn't know that was possible, Eddie says. Nice, Sir Rack of Lamb says. Thank you. 
Zergling says, decide to keep things simple tonight for dinner. Ground beef with salt and cheese. I'll do something to recover from my terrible idea of a bowl of frosted mini wheats last night. Oh. Hang in there, Zergling. I hope you're I hope you're alright. I could imagine if you've been off of stuff like that for a while, that especially that that could give you a little bit of a distress. That's impressive. Congrats. Thank you, uh, uh, Lucent Jelly. Thank you, uh, thank you, Itty. Uh, Sirak of Lamb says, I've yet to beat it, but I want to. How long do you think it took? Um, it took a couple hours, Sirak of Lamb, but I've tried it a few times. Uh, w welcome in, uh, Rafnir and Raiders, by the way. Thank you for the raid, Rafnir. We'll uh, get you a, a shout out. Uh, I think you were playing Tears as well. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully you had a good stream. I imagine it was a great time. So I've played I've played the game a few times, Sir Rack of Lamb, but uh and like it has a password system. I think the passwords in even now having having beaten it. I would say the passwords in Zombies Ate My Neighbors are are useless. If you actually want to beat the game, you should do a run that starts from the beginning. Because if you pick up part of the way through, you can't... There just aren't enough resources. Like, you need to start at the beginning of the game on on every attempt and and really make an effort to hoard resources. And you've got to spend some time like thinking about each level that you're on. Uh, after you collect all the neighbors, like you need to make wise decisions regarding do you immediately go through the door and get out of there before you take any more damage? Or do you spend some time searching the map for collectibles? Because that, that really makes a big a big difference. If you, if you hang out for some extra time on some of those levels, you might find an extra life. Or better yet, you might find med kits or monster potions and you really want all those things. Because when you get to boss stages, like stages with the trimmer worms or the giant baby or the giant spider, you just you have to bleed away those valuable resources. And if you don't have a if you don't have a high stock stockpile of them, then you just there's just nothing you can do. So really, really, I think every attempt you should make just from the from the start of the game. Time for the sequel, Ghoul Patrol. Welcome in, Crooked Main. Good to have you with us again, and uh, happy, uh, happy Thursday to you. Um, I've heard Ghoul Patrol's not very good. I think that's what the winky face is all about, though. Um, and I also think it's pretty expensive to get physically, right? But uh, I might try it out sometime. Uh, I'll go in with my expectations tempered and try to give it a fair shot. Um, I'll probably have to play a digital copy, though. I don't think I'm going to be picking up that one anytime soon. I grew up with a cart. Never did too well, Itty says. It's one of my childhood games. Um, I grew up with it. I I don't I can't really say how well I ever did. Uh, not not very. I couldn't tell you how far I made it. I know I've seen well. I'm pretty sure that I, I'm pretty sure at some point I, I, I used some passwords to see later into the game, but even then, like, if I cleared a level, if I cleared a level, it was a miracle. Um, game is weird. Did I recommend him? I don't know who that question is targeted towards. Spriven, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you for the good luck wishes. All right, Hrafnir says, spent the whole time treasure hunting in the depths. Nice. We're gonna we're gonna head down to the uh, we're gonna head down to the uh, to the depths, and uh, 
and do some exploring down there tonight, I think. Hopefully I'll find something worthwhile. So Rack of Lamb says, beat Goof Troop the other day for the first time. A fun little game. Took about three hours. I've heard really good things about Goof Troop. Um, I'm kind of avoiding it. Uh, that's the game I'm saving because I've heard it's a really good co-op game. And so I want to play it with Jolly at some point. I was thinking of if Jelly gets back into the swing of uh, working on her uh, YouTube project that we might we might make a video of that together um so i i want to stay i want to stay ignorant of uh of goof troop so i don't have any advantages when we go when we when we uh, try to tackle it together but uh gg sir rack of lamb well done not sure what possessed me to have a bowl of mini wheats. Think I just wanted to be stupid for a night to remind myself of why I eat the way I do. Zergling says. We had um. I mean, you know, I'm not a. I don't know what the word for it would be. I guess I'm more omnivorous uh, than you. Um, but I like, I don't, I don't typically get very tired of having the same thing, um, night after night, but, you know, even I have my breaking points. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, found a rare token yesterday, Fufu says. Right on. GG on the find. It took me a bit to find the gameplay loop in the depths, Rafnir says. I was addicted once it clicked. I may not be, I may not be quite at that point yet myself. That would be silly, that would be silly to watch. So Rack of Lamb says, Elizabeth Coronation, 1953, Fufu says, the token you found. Uh, about to leave for work. Might stop by later and see how you're doing. <laughs> Have a great stream. Thank you, Rafnir. Thank you again for the raid. Always good to see you. Have a... Uh, have a smooth and productive time at work, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you again. All right, before we uh, before we dive back in, I've got a uh, I've got a weird food. Sometimes I I mean it's not that weird, but uh, sometimes I try new or interesting foods on the stream, and uh, I never I never describe them very well. It's kind of a running. <laughs> It's kind of a running theme of Frowny doesn't know what anything tastes like. You're going to have to wait on that, Spriven. <clears throat> I'll be happy to uh, spin the wheel, but we're going to do this other thing first. So the uh, the running theme is Frowny doesn't know what anything tastes like, and that's probably going to stay true tonight because every time I have like a new snack or a new soda or something like that, I uh, basically drink it and say I can't describe it. So that's what we're going to do now. I've got the uh, the summer freeze flavor of Mountain Dew. It looks like it's supposed to taste like a uh, like an ice cream popsicle of some kind. It's got like a what looks like like a Superman popsicle on it. Red, white, and blue. I don't know anything about it, except I've never had it before. So we're going to taste it and see what it's like. <laughs> Tastes like America, Jelly says. It smells nostalgic <laughs> I 
I mean, it smells like Mountain Dew. And I don't know if maybe uh, it's my... I I think it's I think it's placebo. I think it's my imagination that tells me that it like well I'm going to say I'm going to say it smells that that it the smell reminds me <laughs> reminds me of the public pool that I would visit sometimes when I was when I was real young. <laughs> but like the concession stand I want to say I can smell ice cream, but I think it's just because there's ice cream in the picture that I'm just imagining it. But let's see what it's like. What are you drinking? Welcome in Mile Hyrule. I'm drinking Summer Freeze Mountain Dew. I'm going to drink it and then fail to describe what it tastes like. It tastes like a flavor of Mountain Dew that already exists. It doesn't taste, it doesn't taste new. I can't decide if it tastes like, um, the Voltage Mountain Dew or the Orange Mountain Dew. What's that called? Live Wire? I think they combined, I think they combined a Voltage Mountain Dew and Live Wire Mountain Dew and just changed the coloring. It tastes a lot like the Voltage Mountain Dew. More like that than anything else, I think. I think I think Mountain Dew I think I think Mountain Dew is is fooling us. And they've just re-released a flavor with a different name. <laughs> tastes like summer free uh tastes like summer freeze I assume. Tastes like a freezy pop and yes that. I'm not really sure what and yes that means, Jelly. Blue Mr. Freeze. All right, well, that's my non-description, is it doesn't taste new. It kind of, it tastes mostly like, like the Voltage Mountain Dew, which I actually really like. Um, that's, uh, if I'm going to buy, if I'm going to buy a Mountain Dew, that is my, um, that is my go-to uh, flavor, the one that I'll that I'll reach for. It's always a successful marketing tactic, that's for sure. Well, I accuse Coca-Cola of doing that as well, because the the last specialty Coke that they put out tasted exactly like one that came out a few months before. <laughs> So there's my there's my underwhelming review, my friends. We'll spin the wheel of scorching and then we'll get into the game. That is the Belizean heat sauce. All right, so an an old familiar friend at this point, the wheel has chosen for us Marie Sharp's 
Belizean Heat Habanero Pepper Sauce. This is the bottle that says, you must be strong to handle this sauce. I don't remember if this is the one that gave me hiccups the last time I tried it or not. As always, we'll try and take a very generous sampling. It's not so bad tonight. I don't I don't really have any fear of hiccups. Uh, it's growing a little. I think having that immediately after having a soft drink was a really bad idea. <laughs> it's not sitting well in my stomach. It's not even, um, it's not even that it's burning all that much right now. It's just kind of sitting uncomfortably in my stomach. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get for now, though. I do feel a little warm. All right, back into it. <laughs> We're gonna backtrack over to this uh, geoglyph after I try and get that star fragment, but we might as well examine it as we're passing over.
killed the big bad guy yet. Mile High Rope, come back in 300 hours if you want an answer to that question. By which I mean 300 stream hours. It's gonna be a while. Hey, Defiant Salem, welcome in. Woke up to play Elden Ring today. Played a level in Mario, right on. Which, uh, what Mario, may I ask? I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna make it to this, uh... I don't think I'm gonna make it to this star fragment. Mario Advance 2, Mario World. Right on. Played Zelda for the NES to, today, Mile Hyrule says. I say right on to that as well. I haven't played... I haven't played the or Zelda 1 in... It's been over 10 years. Last time I played it, I was living in Korea, so like that's I can narrow I can I can narrow down a window of when when the last time I played it was, which is a very long time ago. It's still making noises like there's an enemy over here. I don't see anybody. want to make an axe but that where in the world did you come from
This guy is killing me with my impatience. I'm never going to be able to take this guy out. I didn't know you could just run up to him. I actually didn't know that. I used to guide for the overworld stuff, but not the dungeons. That game is no joke. Not my first time, but first for a while. Forgot a nice bit of it. Yeah, if I were to try Zelda 1, it would... It would basically be indistinguishable from a first playthrough, I think. There's a lot in that game, and I don't know it well at all. Uh, armored carp. Calcium deposits in the scales of this ancient fish make them as hard as armor. Cooking it into a dish will fortify your bones, temporarily increasing your defense. I have something I'm curious to look into that we might see about later tonight, but I'm going to need a whole lot of wood, so. Since we found this little forest. Spend some time here. Octa Rock Eyeball. Seems like the kind of thing I need a photo of. No? Stunning. Oh, did I never take a photo of the tree branch? Oh, I didn't. I should eat something. Chop down every tree in the game. <laughs> I need to get find an actual axe. I never, uh, I never have an axe. These little homemade ones just don't do the trick. I 
think trees come back even without the blood moon. I think if you just I think if you just travel a certain distance away and return the trees um will come back. I think it's a pretty far distance. But I don't I don't think you have to wait for the blood moon. I could be wrong though. This is why we can't have nice things. Because of the blood moon. We can't have nice things because of the blood moon or because I'm cutting down all the trees in the universe. Oh, because I'm not using a real axe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just, it makes this process a lot slower than I think it needs to be. Don't do that. Oh, no. Alright, it wasn't that bad. My idea of dessert tonight. Three hamburger-sized sausage patties. <laughs> Alright, I've got 60 bundles of wood. That's, that's pretty good. Excuse me, I put that together very poorly. So, I think these won't have collision. Yeah. Like every other item and weapon. When you stitch them together, they don't have collision. But they can still be used for a lot of things. So 
So my plan is next time I'm in a shrine and I need to and I need to fusion a bunch of nonsense together to create a really long stick instead of throwing away all my weapons. <laughs> instead of losing all my weapons, I'm going to carry around with me a whole bunch of extra wood and I'm going to use that for that purpose <laughs> from now on. Makes limbo a lot easier when there's no collision. <laughs> when there's no collision on the pole. Could be a better resource for, um, you know, the, the wood might not be the best, the best resource for this project, but it's the best one I've thought of so far because it's, uh, it's easily attainable in fairly large numbers. And, you know, it's bigger than something like Bokoblin horns. Like, it'll get me... It'll get me a lot more reach than something like... Like, there are other things that are more plentiful, but there's much smaller objects, so I'd rather... I'd rather have something with a bit of reach. I think we're good with I think we're good for now. There's a well. Go up to Ludwig's castle, Salem. Derek Ocean, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Thursday, uh, Derek. You, I think you'll be, I think you'll be excited to know, uh, Derek. I we played Zombies Ate My Neighbors last night, and I beat the game for the first time ever. I actually beat Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I can't believe it. I never thought it would happen. supposed to grab that not, not hit it uh nice that's a hard game indeed thank you and yeah that's a that's a tough one i was pretty i was pretty shocked i didn't think 
you know i it didn't really even occur to me as a as a possibility that i was gonna beat it and then uh yeah ha ha and then when i did it happened so suddenly Another Korok? Two Koroks back to back? Yahaha, ha, indeed. Wanted to come watch, but I had an early shift today. No worries. I'm uh, I'm happy that you thought of us. Hopefully that early shift went smoothly for you. And an Octorok. Ow. I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West. About a little fire, Scarecrow. Tip touches water. Welcome in. Welcome to Tears of the Kingdom. Hope you are well. We, uh... Maybe about to, uh unlock another uh, little story cutscene here in just a moment. Here it is. Saw the Little Mermaid Tuesday. Saw um, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse tonight. Right on. Hopefully you had a good time with both of those.
Both really good, Derek says, right on. There's a shrine over there. Hyrule will bow down before me. Wiped out all the Molduga. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zona. <laughs> How interesting. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. Eggs. Spooky cannon. That blast was wild. Yeah, that was, uh... I was a bit surprised. I was a bit surprised. That, uh, the version of, of Ganon we get in this game looks like, like he's really, he's really bulked up. He looks like he's on his way to compete in Street Fighter. <laughs> Spider-Man is now my favorite movie of 2013, Derek says. Imagine mine will remain.
John Wick 4. I don't really see anything changing that. I mean, I might not even see another movie this year. Who knows? What happened to my sail? Come on, Link, swim. This is why, this is why we invested in stamina. Uh, we're good. All right, new stable, we should talk to everyone. So if I gather my thoughts, what I know is this. The legendary sword is more than fable and far closer to fact. Can it truly defeat any monster? Does it truly exist in Hyrule? Yes and yes. And it's highly likely to be found in the something something woods. Hmm? Tell me, you. How long have you been there? You didn't happen to overhear what I was just saying, did you? Well, you heard. I thought as much, but I have nothing to fear. I stand comforted that only the Chosen One can wield the legendary sword that defeats any monster. Ah. The Chosen One isn't an eavesdropper. He is an eve that is perfectly fine with being dropped in on. Me, I mean. Mm. Let me share this openly. Some days ago, I bid farewell to my dear wife. Soralea and set out from Lakeside Stable. I find myself now at this stable, but the something-something woods that I seek is still farther away. So forgive me if I have no more time for eavesdroppers. I have to find the legendary sword to protect my dear wife. Did you not hear me? My fault entirely. The legendary sword is meant for a chosen one like me. Uh, I imagine that... Soralia is all alone, waiting for my return. I must find the legendary sword. Return to her side as soon as I can. Well, good luck with that. Oh. Oh, they both need to be photographed. I have to watch you beat zombies from last night. Right on. Thank you, Derek. If you check it out, I hope you enjoy. John Wick will be in my top five for sure. Oh, that thing I thought was a well turned out to be a stone, but this is a real well. So let's let's see what's going on down here. <laughs> the 
this is like the greatest photo of the rusty Halberd I could possibly take. You can't even tell what it is. It's buried in the moss. Um, well, the thing about the ending of Zombies Ate My Neighbors is... There kind of isn't really a final boss. It just kind of ends. bosses in that game at all. They kind of are, but... I don't know. They're not like... You know, like the trimmers and the giant spider and the giant baby. Like, they're... Like, that's that game's version of boss fights, but they're not... Like, they're kind of all optional. <laughs> I mean, they try to lock you in to make them not optional, but if you show up with the right items from other levels, you can skip most of them. So, I would kind of call it... I would kind of say that it's a really kind of a game without bosses. You'll just have to check it out, Derek. But I didn't actually have to fight him. I mean, I did fight him during the play playthrough because he's not unique. He shows up. He shows up on more than one level, and so I fought him on a different level. But on the final level, I didn't actually have to fight him. Like I was saying, he's he's optional. Yeah, yeah, uh, all of the, uh, well, all the bosses, I think, are at least theoretically optional. I don't know if they're all practically optional. But, like, they, they try to make the bosses mandatory by locking particular neighbors behind, um, boss key doors, but you can get extra boss keys and carry them from level to level, so you can Hi. skip a lot of, uh, you can skip a lot of, uh, boss key guarding enemies. What fine weather, perfect for searching the land for the legendary sword. Okay, I thought that was the same guy. Oh, 
Oh, we have to photograph the horse, too. I'll see you when you return. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, excuse me, I was lost in thought. There's a group of gourmets who frequent our stable, and they always teach me new recipes to cook. And the recipe for our next section is... Next session is... A dish devised by Princess Zelda herself. I'm so excited, I can't even sit still. I mean, this person looks like they're moving in the wrong direction to be who he's talking about, but they might have arrows for sale. New ore in a cave. Hey, does it feel like the amount of ore has dwindled a lot lately? I wonder if it's to do with the upheaval. Eh, but I've heard otherwise. I've heard that inside those recent cave formations, there's all sorts of new ore deposits. Mm -hmm. You can make easy money selling rare gems off to shops, so it's common sense to investigate a cave when you find one. Hmm. Word on the street is, in those recent cave formations, is those recent cave formations have all sorts of fresh ore deposits inside. When you find a cave, I recommend giving it a good look-see. Never know what you might find. That guy was not a salesman. I regret tracking him. I regret chasing him down. I thought I'd run into you again, or are you following me? Remember, the secret to a good negotiation is to leave the other person wanting more. Well then, can I tempt you to buy, or are you selling today? Arrows, please. Hey there, welcome to Riverside Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Oh, oh it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger and call me over. Oh. And then once again, Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Okay, we've, uh, read all of that dialogue before. Oh no! This is new, I think. Kakariko Village is located between two steep mountains, so visitors to the village used to be few and far between. However, ever since those distinctive ring-shaped Zonai ruins landed there, things have been pretty lively. I think I photographed a torch already. Yeah. Nobody else here? Oh, let's befriend the dog. I was 
about to say or not. I think it'd be a good piece of meat. Doggo, enjoy. Let's activate this shrine. Before we go in here, we got to go back to this shrine for a moment. We did this shrine last night, and contrary to my stated goals, I didn't really see a very good way of cheesing this shrine last night, and I feel bad that I kind of completed it the way that it's meant to be completed. <laughs> so before we really do anything tonight, I want to see if I had showed up and thought it. Well, I probably had in my pocket enough wood but I didn't think about using it. And I want to see if I could have made it through here without ever activating any of the bounce any of the bounce pads. I'm pretty sure that I could have. And it's a shame. That I didn't think to use that I didn't think to use wood last night. Still might not work. Still might not be long enough. I don't know how many of these I can stick together. not maxed out just yet, but it's still not very tall. items. It's more than that. I 
I I lost count. How many are we up to? Let's uh, let's check them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's gotta be. That's gotta be the cap, right? So you get a different, it's a different cap depending on what types of things you're sticking together, it seems. Huh. Because we're up to 21. Really? Really? Wow. Well, let's just see. We're just going to keep going until it says I can't attach anymore. Oh, I can't attach anymore. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, can I? No. 20. Okay. No, 21. 21 was, was the maximum. All right, so I've got to break one of these off of this. So why did it... Why did it break there? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get... You know, up there. Why did it bend like that? What? This game is dumb. Surely that's... I have no idea what's happening at the top of this. Yeah, look at that. So it reaches. scientific inquiry always have to be so painful
stuck on something? What's going on? Good job in the game. Always fought the boss on the last level. Yeah, I uh I think I just I think I got lucky there because the the neighbor that was behind that boss door died. And so because of that, I didn't have to fight the boss. So I seem to be to have been mistaken in regards to how easy carrying around a whole bunch of wood was going to make my life. I thought... doesn't appear to be calming down. In fact, it seems to be swinging more and more wildly. What in the world is going on? Where is it getting all this, uh, where is it getting all this, uh, kinetic energy from? I just want it to calm down.
Super NES version. I did a uh, Super NES, Derek. I've never, uh, I've never played the Genesis version at all. I've never even, uh, never even tried it. Boy, my, uh, My expectations for how easy this was going to be were way off. doing what no wood is an awful material to work with uh, I might continue Mario Land 2 tonight Salem says right on I uh, I didn't know you hadn't finished it I, uh, I assumed you had I get what's happening, but I don't like it. I figured it out, but I don't like it. Because I've got something attached somewhere else. Every time I join this, a new piece has to break off. Is that it? Are we done? Thank goodness. She'd stop bouncing like that. What is going on? The physics in the in here are so broken. What do we think is going to happen to me when I 
do this, huh? I think I'm gonna get thrown a million miles away. I was right. That did not go high enough. Okay. I kind of thought it wouldn't. Wait a moment. I can't actually take this up very high. That doesn't, all right, that doesn't move like I thought it would. But still. Interesting. Wish I could get this stuff back. Yeah, you can't really go anywhere, though. wood. Just so I free up some more attachment abilities. <sighs> so, I I think I've pretty much got to get over there if I have going to have any hope of clearing this shrine. But this is so wobbly. <laughs> other stuff do I have? What other stuff do I have in my inventory? Nothing in really plentiful numbers. Only difference is the Genesis has less levels, I think, Derek says. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know someone posted a picture in the Discord. Um, to show the layout is different. like your heads up display but I couldn't really tell you what much of the difference are differences are you had something you wanted to share about something different about zombies 
but I know you, Frowny. Uh, it's minor and depends if you want to play it again. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I'll play. I'm sure I'll play. Zombies ate my neighbors again at some point because I really like the game. Um, whether or not I expect to try and beat it again is hard to say. I mean, I guess I'm always trying to beat it. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> That's why it's a terrible idea. why it was a terrible idea. <laughs> why are all my ideas so bad? <laughs> oh, this is fine. Something about the last level. Um, I guess you can go ahead and tell me, Derek. I'll uh, I'll hear what you have to say about it. So share share away. Tell me that I that I did the game wrong and I didn't get the true ending. I'm going to be very upset.
that. Oh. oh. So there is a there is a boss. I see. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll go back and give it another try someday. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've done for now. <laughs> the center of an object is stronger or not. All that wood I chopped down. <laughs> Tell us again, Frowny, why, why it took you 40 years to finish Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom. Well, everything started to go wrong when I decided to chop down every tree in the game. <laughs> I just feel like these bundles of wood should not be as springy as they are. Right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I should. Theoretically, be able to attach a few more. I want to take a closer look at these emoji up here, Spriven. I don't think I know if this is a character from something. I don't think I know it. It might be an original character for all I know. It looks or it kind of reminds me of Mr. Saturn. Kind of cute. Oh my goodness. This has been a nightmare. It's still not over, but I mean, you know. I want these extra pieces.
It's Karnov? Data East mas mascot? Really? I've never played a Karnov game. I've been, it's been suggested to me, it is Karnov. <laughs> It's been suggested to me that I should play one in November for 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 Carnovember. So hopefully I'll remember to do that. Have you ever played Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja? I have not. I haven't don't even think I've heard of that. Until just now. So I've got five springs. He's in a bunch of Data East games as a character of some sort. I think I might own the NES game. So I imagine I'll give that one a play at some point. I really hope this works. That's really high up there. Two, six, seven, eleven, twelve. That's twelve objects. Seventeen. <laughs> Bring it up to 
20, and that should be the end of it. So that's about as tall of an object as I can make. You know, it just occurred to me that this object is actually no no taller than the one I had made before. It's actually shorter because, oh my goodness. Because the wood is actually short, the wood is actually longer than a lot of the things that I just used. Great camera angle. Thank you, game. That was something else. I think that's actually just much too high. I have an idea, actually, that if it works... is that I can just, I can never see what I'm doing.
this is gonna be a real this is gonna be a real pain. Because I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, that. It makes sense that that wouldn't work. Um... I have one idea that's like pretty like mind bendingly terrible. <laughs> hmm. I cannot even begin to understand why that broke. The way that it did, it completely turned itself around. <laughs> Physics in this game are kind of busted. <laughs> So why is this have to, why does this wall have to be so tall? Why does this everything I pick up always have to be at some weird angle? driving me up the wall <laughs> which I which oddly enough is where I actually want to get Let's just see what happens to me if I hang out on this. I think I'm gonna get maybe launched into an abyss. Or 
we're just not going to go anywhere. Very strange. What about you? Better. It got stuck. It's stuck on nothing. Time doesn't work. But look, you can see that that didn't go up anywhere near as high as I need to be. so tough. Did a complete did a complete 180. I don't want it to do that.
want it to have the support of both of those walls, I think. This does not appear to have the effect that I thought it may. <laughs> So I thought, like, you know, we can use the Korok fronds to, like, make a weapon that, like, has gust abilities. So I thought, eh, maybe they'd help stabilize this thing. I can't. I can't actually fit it into the corner now. That's weird. This is still a bad idea. gets me up here, but I can't make the last leg of the journey, can I? Because now I can't. Yeah, I won't come all the way up here, up here now. Oh, but we're getting so close. I just erased all my progress. You know, it occurs to me that I might have... An, an even better tool at my disposal.
for uh, for what we were trying to do. I may have just uh, of these to mess around with. Well, I'm going to leave this shrine. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's irritating after we just spent so much time here and I didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> I was never going to accomplish anything anyway. The whole point of all of that was just uh, experimentation. <laughs> this is an already completed shrine. Let's go do something new. As in this shrine? No. This shrine. I really think I really want I really want to see if I can figure out how to complete that shrine without activating any of the bounce pads. I mean, I was activating the stack of them at the end, and I'd really prefer to not do that as well. But, uh, you know, so far I haven't been clever enough. Maybe if I had a bunch of Octo Balloons, I could stick a whole bunch to that, and it would float up high enough. Hi! Hey, Dynamite. Welcome in. Happy Thursday to you, my friend. What's going on? You looking for someone to talk to? Yeah, that's fine by me. Let's talk. Ah. Seems like a number of unusual ruins fell at Kakariko Village in the east. I'm going there to investigate, but a traveler type like you might want to check it out, see the sights, that sort of thing. I thought this guy would sell something to me. Um, I'm heading there for sure, but uh, not anytime soon. Young guy like you, though, I bet you're going to bolt for it. We shall see. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you saw Dynamite, but we, uh, but I, I actually did manage to beat Zombies Ate My Neighbors last night. Building with logs. All right, my friends. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen me complete a shrine, or if it's been a while, or if you somehow missed that uh, that hour and a half of complete like time waste that I just did, then uh. I'll uh, let you know. Uh, in the shrines, I have two goals. One is to, to try and never use the paraglider. Um, 
Um, I might accidentally deploy it from time to time, but as long as it, it never does anything useful for me, then, uh, then that's fine. I try not to, you know, deploy it at all, but sometimes when you're mashing the jump button, it just happens. Um, and two is to try to do as little of what is intended of me to do as possible. Um, I'm not really great at that goal lately. But uh, we'll see. I don't really have a lot of choice here, though. It seems I've got to use this log to... Uh... To do something here. Uh-oh. I might already be in trouble. Hang on. Oh, here we go. We're fine. I was never worried. Uh, streams in too late for you, but good job. I was going to ask if you beat zombies. I, I was uh I was thinking you might you might be curious and I did I can't believe it I got really I kind of just really got lucky and apparently I skipped the last boss so it was a it was a rather cheesy victory as it turns out. Yeah, yeah, I, I got to the credit level. The on the credit level, I uh, I was walking around and I was gonna talk to all the I was gonna I was gonna go around and talk to all the people, but um, I collected the uh, I collected the the one neighbor that we that we had on the credit level, and it spawned the door and trapped me into one of the offices. It spawned the exit door, so I couldn't. I couldn't walk around and see everything, but, uh, you know, none of that was super important to me anyway, so. It was all alright in the end. Okay, we might be able to get through this without ever... You know, I've got obviously I have to use the logs, but we might be able to get through it without ever uh, actually combining any of them, which you know seems to be the theme. I think we'll just uh, I think we'll just use them to go for a ride. So we are still using them, but not exactly in the intended way. good on zombies for a while I will play it again um, because I would be curious to actually uh, to actually clear the intended clear the uh, clear the last stage like by fighting the boss as intended But I, uh, yeah, I didn't actually have to fight the last boss because I guess, like, I didn't see what happened. I just heard it happen. I got to the last stage with, 
with two neighbors still intact. And one of the neighbors was out somewhere in the castle. And the other one was behind the final boss. But somehow, somehow an enemy got to the neighbor that was behind, that was trapped, that was locked behind the final boss and killed that neighbor. And so the only one left for me co to collect was the one that was out in the wild. And so I, and so I collected that one and then, and then it was GG. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. Just letting you know, my friends. We are going to be here a while, for sure. I sure did. It's not my fault they programmed it with a with a with a uh, with an ugly oversight I can't jump to where I want to jump to. Alright, maybe if I activate it. First, uh, I mean, I don't even know what it's going to do when I activate it. Probably nothing useful. What did I tell you? See, the thing is, if it would just let me stand on it like I want to. That's almost incredible. Oh, I need more bows.
hardcore one cc's uh on all paths no deathless runs in sight hey one cc is better way better than i can do all the all the ggs Someday, someday I'd like to join your ranks and uh, and get some 1ccs in hardcore myself, but it's going to take a lot of practice. That's interesting. <laughs> Can't reverse time. Get back up here. That's not really what I envisioned happening.
I did beat all the I did beat all the paths, but I didn't but I didn't one CC them. I just did a first playthrough of all the paths. I got a, I have a lot more business to accomplish with uh, hardcore. It's got a look. I mean, we're not actually in the water, but it, we it does have like this the sky inside the shrines it does have a water-like look to it. I just don't have a lot of tools at my disposal. There's not a whole lot of nonsense I can accomplish in this shrine, I don't think. I think I'm gonna have to build with logs. was the desire of my heart to uh, to ignore the stack of logs but what can I say I've been outsmarted this time So I'm also just kind of worn down from being defeated in the other shrine. <laughs> my uh, my ambitions of coming up with something clever there being thwarted. I ate two pounds of ground beef and eight strips of bacon for dinner. Not really, but I'm commenting for the others who aren't here right now since it's just us. I had chicken stew for dinner. Oops. 
and it was pretty all right. It's not the it's not the best thing I make, but it comes out okay. I forgot to put Last time I made it, I'd seasoned it with thyme, and I forgot, I forgot the thyme this time. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it is a nice touch. Chicken fries with garlic parmesan sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh. I don't like that shield. I don't think that's as good as anything I already have. <laughs> I like some of the sauces that uh, that uh, Buffalo Wild Wings does. I don't get food from there very often. It's you know, chicken wings in general are uh, pretty expensive food. Um, But it is a, it can be a nice treat every now and then. My uh, experiences, though, with a, with those restaurants, is that the individual locations are really hit and miss, though. fast food and I'm ashamed of it dynamite says I haven't been lifting or me or proper meal prepping for two weeks working 50 hours a week and it's killing my health routine that'll definitely do it I hope you're able to to uh, to get back on track with those things, though. I always think I should do. I I always think about doing more meal prepping, but I uh, I never get around to actually doing it. All right, shrine completed. We didn't really do anything particularly interesting in that one, unfortunately. Kind of a rough start to the night, huh? Most of, uh... Most of what I've been up to so far has been pretty painfully pointless. make our way to this tower over here. Tomatoes? More tomatoes? Nice. Yeah. 
These are frozen uh, chicken fries and store-bought sauce. Just the, uh, it's just the brand. Right on. Let's get this uh, Korok to his friend. <laughs> this block come from the sky? It did. actually see an island up here though. This is making me nervous. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Did a bad job with that one, huh? Those enemies? Oh, they are. really prefer to not be set on fire. <laughs> Thank goodness. One co-worker I work directly with, he streams on here as well. He says one sentence is uh, on stream an hour and has the camera pointed at the top of his head. I, that would make for some pretty tough. That would make for some pretty tough watching. take quite a bit to figure out how to get everything just right. I did a lot of, uh, when I decided I wanted to start
playing stuff on stream. I did a lot of uh, testing. I did a lot of I did a lot of practice streams. going on. Is it you? It is! I would try it, but my voice is so low and I talk crazy fast. I don't know if it would work. I mean, a lot of people like a really low voice. There couldn't be much harm in giving it a try and going for it, though. If it's something that, you know, if you feel like you would enjoy doing it, I would say, uh, by all means. You don't have anything to lose but a bit of time. I was, I, was, I was thinking to myself there was something I wanted to do, and then I I just forgot what it was, and so that, that's why I was running around like that. I want to make some more elemental jellies before I... Uh, run out of them. Oh no, that was a waste in a in several ways. That was just a bad this was just a bad location to try and do this all around. Uh, is Twitch basically just centered on gaming content? I mean, you can stream all kinds of things. I think, I think gaming stuff makes up the, you know, the overwhelming majority of it. I think it used to be, I think it, at one point it was only gaming. But I don't know, I don't, I'm not, the, I'm not the person to ask about the history of Twitch or anything like that. 
I, uh, I'll get all the details wrong, I'm sure, but I, I do believe it is, uh, primarily gaming, but you, I bet, I mean, you can find people doing all kinds of stuff on stream. Lots of art, lots of art streams, Chompy says. Welcome in, Chompy. Pleasure to have you with us, of course. Hope your Thursday has been well, and pleasure to have you here as well, Streaming Fist. Welcome in. More like it. No, don't do that. to this uh, Korok. Uh, I want to add some workout slash fitness influencer content if it's allowed here. I'm not an expert, but I can't really imagine why it wouldn't be. I think there are plenty of people who don't game, though I'm not sure what the distribution is. Streaming Fist says there's workout stuff. That's right. I mean, music streams. One of my uh, one of my mods, uh, Sparrow, does uh, music streams. He's a DJ, and he does uh, he does live mixing on stream. Okay down there. He's fine. My day was good. It's currently Friday evening. I always get people's time zones wrong. I just, I kind of don't bother most of the time. I just greet people with whatever time it is for me. And just let them correct me if they want to. Which is, uh... Probably at least a little bit rude, but, uh... You know, particularly for people who are here often. But, uh, it's a lot of data. It's a lot of data to try and hold in my head. Franny built a car to drown the backpacker. I mean, things things kind of didn't go to my plan in my defense.
It's great because I get to enjoy the late night vibes of your stream, but it's 7 p.m. <laughs> Uh... You know, sometimes, sometimes I wish I could enjoy my stream at 7 p.m. <laughs> Oh no, he's going too fast. Yeah. All right, here we are. Yeah. Victory. Hey, loyal to soil. Welcome in, loyal. Happy Thursday to you. I hope you're doing well tonight. sure all the prime time streams happen while I'm at work, Chompy says. Probably while I why I gravitate toward the uh, the chill nighttime retro stuff. I'm not even facing the right way. have some food that guy's frozen so he doesn't currently pose a threat <laughs>
sometimes see comments about the combat in this game being being bad, but I don't really get it. I find it super fun, and you can get creative with it. Yeah, I like I like the combat in this game. Um, I do uh, know that people have com like I am familiar with people complaining about Breath of the Wild, and I mean this is basically identical. A um, little different. A lot of people didn't like the flurry rush. It was a lot of people's complaints, um, but I'm fine with it. I think people, like, I think people don't like, I think it's, you know, I think the combat is too easy for some people. Is, uh, is their issue, but, uh, you know, it's not a Souls game. <laughs> My timing is bad enough that getting a flurry rush still feels exciting. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not great at pulling them off, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> yeah, I like, uh, I really like using the arrows and the uh, the time slow with the paraglider. Which it's kind of cheesy, but. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to continue to use this guy as a shield. Oh, no. I was fully prepared to use that guy as a shield <laughs> for the entire battle. <laughs> or as long as he would last. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I don't know. How can you not have fun with that? <laughs> how can you not how can you not find that fun? <laughs> That was spectacular. <laughs> Can you grab enemies? Like with the, uh, with the uh, Ultra Hand? I don't think so. keep forgetting to check keep forgetting to check 
if I need pictures of stuff before I pick it up. No treasure chest up here? Or down here? Shocking. Uh, okay, we're trying to get to that tower. I'm not sure what distracted me down here. <laughs> Hard to say, Dynamite says. I find Twitch so boring. I watch nothing but your streams. Maybe it's more fun from the other side. I mean, I have a... I would probably say I generally have more fun streaming than I do watching streams. But I do spend a fair amount of time watching streams. I don't spend as much time watching as I do streaming. But I stream an awful lot, so... That wouldn't be that wouldn't really be possible. But there are a lot of great things about it, I mean. If you're really if you're really lucky, you get a lot of good company showing up and it makes games like a lot more fun for me. When I have like weird experiences in games and I have other people to actually share it with. should try and talk to this person. Oh no! Yeah. I'll explain in a moment. Uh, what is it? You seem enthusiastic about something. Are you headed that way too, buddy? No. You should stay here and steer clear of the outpost ruins to the west. A massive chasm opened up near there. And it's apparently so deep it stretches into the depths of the earth. If you fell in, I'd be curtains for you. Seriously, you want no part of that. Ooh. Here there's a chasm uh, at the outpost ruins in the west that's so massive it stretches to the depths of the earth. 
Don't fall into that. Be careful if you go anywhere near there. So I said, oh no, because I just saw, oh, never mind. I saw this and we needed to put a boulder on it, right? But I just attached a boulder to my sword and I thought I wasted the boulder that I was supposed to bring over here, but no. The boulder I was supposed to bring over here is just immediately right next to it. I just need to get the angle right. No, that's still not right. Alright, we'll mess with it again in a second. Oh, there's two of these guys. Mighty Carp. This freshwater fish lives alongside its less mighty carp ilk. A uh, compound in its liver promotes muscle growth. Dishes cooked with it will temporarily increase your attack power. Staminoka Bass. This Hyrule Bass got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. <laughs> It's a uh, long life results in a cooked dish that will restore a lot of stamina. There's a lot of these uh, fish here. Every time I grab one, there's a, there's still another one here yet, it seems. Uh, well, speaking of stamina, I'm going to run out of it. Finally. Goodness. That took a lot of effort. Oh no. This is not a fight that I can win. <laughs> I can win this fight. <laughs> that guy was not ready for me. Oh, no. 
My bow broke. Don't get hit by an arrow. I don't know if the duplex, duplex bow actually uses my arrows up to at the time. No, it doesn't. Alright, is that everybody? Alright, thank goodness. see a talus heart anywhere that's the i got robbed the whole point of fighting the talus is to get the is to get the heart where'd the heart go i don't like this game anymore Multi-shot bows are awesome. Yeah, I, I was I I never used one yet. I it's really awesome that it duplicates my arrows. Boy, that's the kind of thing you need. All right, anything else I need to take a picture of? You're not alone, Dynamite. Uh, there, are, I hear from a lot of people. They feel like these games don't feel like uh, don't feel like Zelda games to them. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to change anyone's mind. But I mean, I don't even necessarily know that I understand what that means. I don't necessarily think that this game feels more different from The Wind Waker than The Wind Waker feels from Zelda 1. So if those if both of those games feel like Zelda games, I don't know why this one doesn't, but I mean, people are going to feel what they're going to feel. I guess. where this goes. I think it's cool the series has a bunch of very different styles that are equally acclaimed. Yeah. It's not it's not often that a that a Zelda game is poorly received. Right? And usually 
usually the worst thing that's said about any of the ones in the series is that they're not as good as other ones. Clearly, we need to cheese this guy from the sky as well. <laughs> Even the four sword stuff was cool. You know, I haven't done any of, any of those yet. Uh, oh my goodness. I thought that I thought it was curtains for me. Hi, Talon. Good to see you again. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to uh, Tears of the Kingdom. That's what we're uh, that's what we're playing at the moment. Mostly taking our time and wandering around and doing side stuff. photographed a fairy. There's something cool about the era where 3D console, 2D handheld games coexisted. It was cool having two versions of series releasing at the same time, like Metroid Prime and Fusion releasing on the same day. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice if we could get more of that. You know, even if it were things like with the Switch, you know. Like, they could still do things like that, right? Because there's no reason you couldn't have, like, a pair of games like that come out and then and just be released on the same platform. Right? Because, uh... A lot of people would, uh... I think the thing with a lot of, like, Nintendo's properties is a lot of people are, like... 
that are fans of Nintendo are fans of the properties in a way to where like they would be likely to buy both games just because they're the same just because they they're part of the same series <laughs> regardless of how different they are I don't think they would be competing with themselves, in other words. Whereas, uh... Other properties might end up kind of doing that. Uh, you're playing this one too, Talon? Right on. I hope you're having as good a time with it as I am. It's been a it's been a slow night for me. I haven't made a lot of progress. I've uh I haven't, I haven't made much progress tonight. I've spent most of my night I've spent most of my night just kind of bumbling around making very, very dumb mistakes. And, and wasting a lot of time on things that don't work. But, uh, you know, that this, that is how we learn, right? Clearly it wants me to fly, I guess, over there. I don't know. I don't know. This is a very odd place. I kind of like it, but it is very odd. Uh-oh. Problem. Can't gain height. Well, that was a semi-interesting experiment. It, that has failed. Time to make our way to the tower. Ooh, there's a shrine down there, too. Tears of the Kingdom is the first Zelda game I ever played. Right on. I think the first one... I played one and... I played... I pretty much played them in order. Like, so far as, like... But... The thing is, I did I didn't play through them in order, but like, like I knew someone that had Zelda one, and I knew someone that had Zelda two, and I knew someone that had uh, Link to the Past. So I played a little bit of each of those, like in their release order, but only kind of like samplings and sort of second hand in a way. The first one that I I never remember the first the the one that I played all the way through first was either Ocarina of Time or Link's Awakening uh, DX. Whichever one came out first is probably the one that I did first, but I never remember which one which one it was. Hello? There's someone down there? That's odd. Ah, well, that's probably connected to activating this tower. How far do you think we are into the game, uh, loyal ass? Um, uh, maybe 10% loyal. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. This is a this is a big game. There's a there's a lot to it, so I still think we've done only a very small amount of the things there are to do. I'd guess maybe three percent. You might be more right. You, what are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? I set off a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. I mean, you really can't fit between these bars? That's a wide gap, and you're pretty slender. If, I, if you just turn sideways, I think you can fit through these bars. I feel like even I could fit, Loyal says. Uh, how many tiers have I found? I've found three, Talon. I haven't really been looking very hard for them. Um, so far, but I've, I've come across three of them. I guess I don't really have a plan, though, to say that I'm not really looking, you know, for anything in particular, like... I might have to teleport to get out of here. Oh, hang on. Always forget about the ascend ability. All right, so there's a cave somewhere around here. Need to listen to hints better. Dynamite says sushi place near me makes five dollar California rolls every Thursday. But they like me, so they make me a $5 salmon roll today. Today I asked for tuna instead. Girl said, are you sure? Like three times I said, yeah. And now I know what she meant. Tuna portions are like a third the size of the salmon. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I've, you, I, you got kind of burned there, Dynamite. I'm sorry. I want to help you. My attention is being pulled in so many different directions right now. Alright, where are you trying to get to? That's not bad. Especially since you... Got 
this glider here and everything. There's too many there's too many things to investigate in this game. 325%. I'd probably play it that long. I'd pro I could probably play until 325% completion if there was that much. Oh, three to five. Okay, I read wrong. I, I misunderstood. Three or five. Between three and five. I gotcha. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. take a picture just in case it becomes important later <laughs> look at that whirlpool that's interesting It was nice that the uh, it was nice that the worker at the sushi place was trying to look out for you though. photo. Oh. Oh. Wait a moment. Have I ever taken a picture of a Korok? They're not part of the compendium. Looks like that's probably scrape on the ground. We don't want that. There we go. I have a feeling this is not going to work the way I think it's going to work. So 
far so good. Oh no, squish cheese emotes. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. I hope this works. It's working. Wow, that was pretty incredible. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh, I glitched the Korok through the wall. Double check. Yeah, no, no Koroks in the compendium. It had not started raining. Yeah, I don't need every single mushroom. Another well? There are wells all over the place. Yes, I do need every mushroom. Actually, just don't want to use bombs for this if I can avoid it. This is not going to work really well. Hey, we restored the water to the well, kind of. And we got this magnificent treasure. That's all right. Not really the kind of thing I was looking for, but it, it'll do. I guess I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. <sighs> I'm 
dragon. Oh no, I crashed the game. There it goes. That was weird. That was a long freeze. It's still freezing. It doesn't know what to do. It's trying to... It's I'm caught between a, like two loading zones. The game's going crazy. down here. This looks super dangerous. So, I didn't actually get the thing that I broke off of the dragon. It went into the wall. Do you feel this is next-gen graphics for 2023? Uh, I know I've been a hater on this game, but it looks kind of circa 2015, yeah? Yeah, but I mean, visually, Nintendo hasn't really, like, cared much for, like, cutting-edge visuals for a long time, so. No, there are definitely things that, uh, you know, are probably more visually impressive. So that's the benefit of going for a stylized look as well. Is like, you know, instead of going for folk because of the like, you know, like the gra this is going to hold up over time, continuing to look way better than modern photorealistic graphics are going to look, you know, ten or fifteen years from now. <laughs> This is a this is a Yiga clan hideout. That's what this is. That's why it's so hostile. We have received reports of sounds coming from inside the large wall to the southwest. Specifically, they're coming from the striped wall that extends up to the ceiling. We have searched the depths for some sort of entry point, but to no avail. Were the sounds a figment of our imagination? Or could it be that there's an entrance somewhere else? If we only had a map of this place, we could know for sure. Glory to Master Koga. I know I just read that, but I didn't, I didn't absorb it. Sounds coming from inside the large wall to the southwest. Specifically, they're coming from the striped wall that extends up to the ceiling. I've searched the depths for some entry point, but to no avail. It sounds a figment of our imagination. Is there an entrance somewhere else? Okay. 
Uh-oh. hope those guys don't see me. I'm in a very precarious spot. I don't know how I sound saying that, but still begging for content from 1994. <laughs> no, no worries. I mean... Sixteen, you know, eight, sixteen, thirty-two bit graphics, sprite art. It's always gonna be like something we could use more of. It's always gonna be great. The food's good in the game and in real life. I'm a pretty big fan of food. I wouldn't try to go for very long without it. I don't know. I don't know how to get out of here. All right. Hopefully that's that. Hopefully that's the thing that we are supposed to collect from the dragon. Um, excuse you, don't set me on fire. Ferocious scale. That's exactly what we wanted to collect. No, but I'm gonna die. Life is bad. Life is very bad. So I'm pretty sure I lost my scale, and I think it's probably despawned. It's not that big of a concern. We can, you know, if I, if I lost the scale, I can get another one uh, another time. I'm certain that they work exactly as they did in Breath of the Wild, so not really a big deal. A little bit of a shame, but not a big deal. <laughs> ACAP Sid, welcome in. I see you've made it to Blight Town. <laughs> I do feel like I'm in Blight Town. Oh, cool. You let me out. Whoa. 
What a lucky accident. I accidentally hid under that cliff. Generally speaking, I kind of really like it down here in the depths. It's a it's a very interesting world to explore. some of my health back now that I can see what's going on. Gonna get my revenge on all these guys who are just so mean to me. I don't know which direction he's coming from though. I missed. Oh. Now I have the vehicle. I don't know how to use it. I didn't want to I didn't want to use that anyway. Oh cool. There's only two guys and I get the treasure. Fantastic. Five fans. Four. Oh no. No, never mind. Two of those aren't fans. Yiga schematic. A scrawled schematic for a contraption made of Zonai devices and building materials. Looks like you can use auto build to store schematics and then build from them. Beam spinner. Makes one of the it makes these things these spinning things. Huh? 
All right. Well, that. Uh... Light root. No. I need to go back up. I, I want to stay down here and explore, but oh, what am I doing? Don't put a marker there. But. Can't warp to that. I really need to activate this tower. I have no focus. I just let myself get pulled in every random direction all the time. I think we'll uh, hang out here just a moment and we will uh, split the recording.